because we're on our way to Oneida Lake. It's uh, middle of July, 5.45 in the morning right now. Um, I'm going to practice for, I got a BFL coming up there. I think it's the first weekend in August. So we're going to go out there and refish a little bit, kind of fish the stuff I already know about, see what's going on with that. And we're going to go today and tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to really branch out and try more of the new stuff. We'll try some today too, but hopefully get back to some fish catches here. Big smallies. Well, it is 5.51 a.m. It's 81 degrees out. If that gives you any indication of uh, how much of a scorcher is going to be today. I think the high is right around 95 with a real fuel in the hundreds. So yeah, that's why we're getting out here pretty early. I actually was gonna get out here a little earlier, but I mean it's just not worth it to really, you know, kill yourself over waking up at 3.30 in the morning when it's when it's just a practice day. But uh yeah, we're probably not gonna be on the water past like two o'clock today just because it's gonna be so so hot. Alright guys, we made it to the beautiful Oneida Lake. It is truly beautiful this morning, nice and calm. A little warm, but I'm not complaining. I'm kind of excited because today I tied on an A-Rig. And anyone who fishes with me knows that I despise the A-Rig with a passion. I always have. I just thought, I've always just thought it's dumb, expensive. Annoying the fish, and I've always thought there's other techniques that are better, but I've gone to the point where I've gotten beat on it like way too many times, like way too many times, and I've had people tell me, you know, like when it's on, it's on, and there's like nothing else you can get bit on, and I'm starting to see there's some truth to that. So I finally stopped being so stubborn, and I uh, picked a couple up. I mean, I've thrown it before. But it's a kind of overwhelming thing like you don't really know like how to set it up at first it's Such a big and bulky thing, you know, like you don't know What swim baits to put on it? How to set it up. So I got one rigged up today Let's See what happens with it If you guys want a video on how to set up your air rig properly, this does work for me <coughs> I'd be more than happy to do that He smoked it. Jesus Christ. He put slack in it. Oh my God. So that's what people are talking about when they talk about this area. He literally thunked slack into my freaking rod. He hit it so hard. Jesus. Is he a big one? Oh, it's a freaking pickerel. Oh, I hate you, 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 I hate you! Oh, I swear to God if you hooked me. Mm. My guy annihilated it. Not the right species, but... First A rig fish. Here's one. Yes, About time. About freaking time. That's a big largey. Wow. Big largey. Freaking smoke this thing. Get out of the weeds. I think it's a largey. Yeah, it's a good largey. Oh, there you go. It's three pounder. Finally. Largies will come out for this thing, that's interesting. 
It's about time, my guy. Another big largey, oh man. Nice largey. Wow. That's sick. Freaking nice largey. First Oneida Smalley. I think this one. Yeah. First Oneida Smalley. Ooh, they like this fluke. I'll tell you what. This could be a fun turn in a couple weeks. They'll love this fluke here. It's really not a bad fish. He's not giant, but he's not tiny. Be a bass, don't be a stupid pickerel. It's a pickerel. Of course it's a stupid pickerel. I think I can get to eat the rig today. I just suck at throwing the rig. That's oh, freaking first cast, big smally. Wow, they don't want to come for top water. Freaking big smally. Right at the boat, he smacked it. Dogging me. I mean, he's at least a three. Might be a four. Stay on there. Oh, he's dogging me. It's mean. That's a mean, mean fish. It's a good one. Up in this net, buddy. It's the size we want. Uh, he's not that big. Three and a half. Bye-bye. Hey guys, we're gonna give you a little mid-morning mid update here. Um, it's like 10.30, I think. Haven't had a, a crazy good morning, but it hasn't been a bad morning either. Um, 
every fish we've caught has been a pretty good fish. I mean, I've got like a four, a three and a half, a three that came off of the boat, and then a two and a half. So I'm on pretty good quality already, and this is my first pre-practice day. So I'm feeling excited right now. They're smoking this fluke. I can't get bit on anything other than pickerel with the A-Rig. And I had one big one uh, come up and miss my top water. That's about it right now. There's one. I'm literally throwing to like I can see the smallmouth busting on bait. I throw to them and and they bite it. The second one. That's just stupid. He's not as big. That's just stupid, though. He might be decent. I don't know. Might just have him in the weeds. Eh, might be a decent fish. It's kind of dog. Man. Is that pickerel? Yeah, that's a dude, Smalley. That's the biggest last one. A good one. That's so sick. I literally saw the smallie chasing the bait, so I threw to him, and I caught him. That's unreal. Yeah, he's not as big as the other one. Not a bad fish, though, really. Freaking annihilated it. Oh god. I hope that was on camera. Oh man. He wasn't a giant one, but Jesus Christ did he crush it. Wow, there's like a frenzy going on here right now. You know what? Let me just pick up something. I know they're gonna smoke that. As hard as it is to set it down, gotta do it. See if I can finally get one on this stupid air. Oh no. Yeah, I got three batteries in my boat. Two for the trolling motor, one for the big motor. Didn't seem like a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Not the self-deploy, but the one that holds you in on your spot. Yeah, that one. Spot lock, yeah. How are you guys doing this morning? Yeah, we got some walleyes and caught some bass. And he just caught a huge catfish. Oh, yeah? Huge. Channel? Like this. Huh. Any big bass? Uh, no. But in this weed line over here, our buddies were in here catching walleyes like crazy. Oh, yeah. Huh. Let's hope they're long enough. There you go. Alright, give her a go. Sweet man. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. Hope you guys get into them. Uh, getting out. <laughs> Heading out, getting out of the heat. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Finally got a smallmouth on the A rig. Wow. I'm amazed. He's a dink, but it's this freaking small on the A rig. How freaking tiny. I caught a little baby. A 
little baby Smalley on the rig. Very cute little guy, aren't you? I finally caught a bass on the rig and it was a dinker. A shrew dinker. Alright guys, a night of lake. Uh, first pre-practice day for the BFL. Went pretty good this morning. Um, I didn't necessarily smoke the fish. You know, I, I did alright I'd say, but everything I caught was was a good size. So I mean that's good. I'd rather catch a few big ones than a lot of little ones because I mean, little ones don't do anything if you're in the tournament, so I guarantee I have a shot at decent footage if uh, I can get around the right fit. So, I'm going to be putting in some time out in the next couple weeks because I, I really, really want to do well in this. And, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to head back out tomorrow. 